One day, Edward was talking to Trevor when Douglas steamed by. He was pulling a train of heavy coal cars. Come on, Edward. Stop gossiping in the sun when there is work to be done. Later, Edward spoke to Douglas. Trevor and I are old friends, and you and he have a lot in common, too. We do, quizzed Douglas. And what would that be? Scrap, said Edward quietly. Douglas gasped. Don't mention that word. It makes me wheels wobble. It does the same to Trevor, replied Edward. He was being sent to the scrapyard, but the vicar and I saved him, and now he's really useful again. Even so, Sir Topham Hatt certainly does need another steam engine here. Aye, he does, and quickly. That night, Douglas was still working. He had taken the midnight goods train to a station at a faraway part of the island where only the diesels work. He was just shunting, ready for his return journey, when... That sounds like a steam engine, he thought. The hiss came again. Who's there? asked Douglas. A whisper came. Are you Sir Topham Hatt's engine? I am proud of it. Well, I'm Oliver, and I'm with my brake van, Toad. We've run out of coal and have no more steam. But what are you doing? Escaping. From what? Scrap. Douglas shivered. Then he remembered Edward's story about saving Trevor. I'll be glad to help you. It'll have to look, though, as if you're ready for scrap and I'm taking you away. Their drivers and firemen agreed to help, too. Everyone worked fast. No time to turn round. I'll run tender first. Come on. But before they could clear the station, they were stopped. Aha, uh -huh, called a foreman. A great western engine and a brake van, too. You can't take these. Aye, but they're all for us, said Douglas's driver. See for yourself. The foreman looked all over Oliver. Seems in order. Right away, guard. We've had worse, replied Oliver, and they forged ahead. It was daylight when their journey ended. We're home, cried Douglas. Shh, said his driver. There are the works. We'll find a place for Oliver. Oliver said goodbye and thank you, and Douglas puffed away. The next day, Douglas told the other engines all about Oliver. Sir Topham Hatt will have to know, said James. Douglas should tell him at once, added Gordon. Well, here he is, said a voice. Now, what's this all about? Beg pardon, sir, but we do need another engine. Yes, sir, ventured Gordon. A steam engine, sir. Well, unless one is saved from scrap, there's little hope. But, sir, one has. Yes, indeed. And thanks to you, Douglas, he is now at our works. Oliver is just what we need for Duck's branch line. Everyone cheered. Now, Oliver and Toad are mended and painted in full Great Western colors. Duck and Oliver are happy on their branch line. The others laughed at first and called it the Little Western. Duck and Oliver were delighted, and so the Little Western it will always be.